We're going to do a couple of uh, product reviews real quick. Uh, the first one I'm going to start with is a few items that I bought from uh, Fast Cap. Uh, i got one of the little baby bots here. Um, probably going to buy a bigger one later on. Just want to get a small one. Not really going to be getting into the projects just yet. Then I'm going to need a lot of glue. Got a couple of the uh, tape measures from them. I got one of the ones that uh, is the standard story pole. And then I also got one with the uh, flat back. So when I get into doing panel work and so forth, it would be better. And I also got one of the fast cams, a uh, complete set. And we'll do a quick review on that too. So we'll zoom in on some of the stuff and then uh, kind of review it. Okay, probably everybody's uh, familiar with the baby butts. So we don't really spend too much uh, time on those. Of course, it's uh, basically you fill the container with glue, and when you squeeze it, it squirts out this end. When you let go of it, the, uh, the vacuum draws it back in. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> uh, this of course is one of the several different types of uh, tape measures that they sell. Uh, I decided on these particular two mostly because they had the uh, storyboard capable uh, blades on and let's see if I can get this out. Got it packaged in there pretty good. Try not to hurt it here. Uh, the storyboards allow you to write on the back of the or right on the, the tape measure itself. And it probably would have been better to get one of those teeny teeny weeny packing knives that they have to get in there instead of this one. Uh, number of features that it has. First off the bat is you've got this surface here that you can just write on and then erase it. Which is nice if you're taking a measurement and you don't want to have to try and remember it. Also on the bottom they have a push hold. So when you pull the blade out, you can hold on to it. Let go. Of course it has the standard lock on it. And it also has, this is more of a snap instead of the spring loaded ones so that you have a little better easy uh, time of getting it into your pants. And or on your belt. And then it has a pencil sharpener in it. Now this is probably a piece of crap pencil. So I'm not expecting it to do the greatest. So better quality pencil probably work better. Just one of those cheap kids pencils, but it does trim it up. So <clears throat> that's always handy if you break your point. And uh, Again, this is the standard rule, uh, which is what I wanted. And of course, I won't bother taking this one out of the package yet. Uh, but I got that one for doing panel work. This one for general woodworking. And then, fast cap camera system. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit more, I think, or see if I have enough room to show everything back out here a little bit. There we go. Now in this particular case, this is the complete set. Comes with the pouch and everything. Um, here up here on the back side, this is the uh, extendable pole, uh, which is real nice. I've used this. I recently took a business trip over to Europe and I was able to use it for getting above uh, things when there was a lot of people around. Also a few, I'm not one to take selfies, but I uh, did take some shots of myself and some of the scenery. This particular comes with the uh, universal adapter, spring loaded, so you can put your cell phone on it or another small camera. And comes with a quarter twenty screw here, and this is pivoted. And then inside, up in this pouch here, they have, of course, the manual. Everything and they have everything labeled as to what goes into what pouch. So, what we have here in this pouch is actually the camera, 
and this takes 1080p um, I've already used it looked at some of the video very crisp very nice um, plan on using it a lot more it comes in a waterproof case in case you want to go underwater with it or if you're out in the weather it's not a very big camera this is about the same size as a GoPro uh, this one does have a uh, video screen on the back which I know some of the GoPros don't have that center button turns it on this button records uh, video this button records pictures so I'll just take a little video <clears throat> and we'll throw it in there with the rest of it in case anybody's wondering what camera I've been using up till now basically it's a uh, Sony Handycam nice little camera the, the quality of the video is okay, not the greatest, but uh, it's the one with the 30 gigabyte hard drive, which makes it nice. So, <clears throat> that's the camera, and we'll probably use it for a lot of the uh, other videos to combine two different shots together, so we'll shut this one off. You see the other camera looking at me in case anybody's wondering what camera I've been using. Up till now, basically it's a... Uh, Sony Handycam. It's a nice little camera. The, the quality of the video is okay, not the greatest, but uh, it's the one with the 30 gigabyte hard drive, which makes it nice. So <clears throat> that's the camera, and we'll probably use it for a lot of the uh, other videos to combine two different shots together. So we'll shut this one off. Turn the camera off. Inside the pouch, you have a container for keeping SD card in. Now the camera does come with one standard size SD 8 gigabyte. Comes with a battery. Battery mounts in this spot right here. Down the side here. And then it also comes on the other side with a spare battery. So you get two batteries with it, which is nice. Uh, you also get cables over here, a USB cable, and a power adapter. I have an extra one in here for other things. So this is an AC power adapter for recharging the batteries. And it also comes with this battery charger. It just slides down like that. And battery. This goes on like that, and you see it's red. It needs charged. This one was pretty much dead. But it also has a flip thing in the back, so you can plug it right into the wall. <clears throat> Very nice. And the other nice thing about the camera, <clears throat> little spring clip here for on your belt, but it has a remote control on and off. And I think one for taking pictures and one for video. So, it's, uh, I haven't tried that yet, but I'm going to pretty soon. So that's where the charger goes. And then there's a, literally a half dozen or more types of mounts that come with this thing. Um, and they all have, uh, it looks like a 3M adhesive tape so that you can mount them on things. I dropped a piece of one here which is a slide adapter and everything fits a quarter twenty uh, thread on the bottom of the camera. So you have a standard quarter twenty so you don't have to use these particular adapters uh, you can use a standard camera mount. So <clears throat> that's just a quick review like I said I've used the camera uh, got a lot of video on there from a trip that I took over to Europe here recently uh, I might throw some of those together for a little quick tour of what I did when I was over there. <clears throat> uh, if not, we're going to show a piece of this video in this video where I just took the shot of the other camera and uh, show you the difference in the quality. So with that, that'll be the end of this basic product review at this point. Uh, I've got another one coming up on the uh, planer that I got from Central Machinery <clears throat> and we'll do that next. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like what you see, please subscribe. 
Um, appreciate it. Thumbs up if you liked it. Okay. Till next time. Mm -hmm.